Uh, we're here finally to go and get the uh, permanent trailer for our lovely Intervision boat. So looking forward to it. We're here at Hoskins Trailers and I think we've got uh, our man over here, Nick. G'day Nick. Hi Luke, how are you? Good. Very excited to be getting a proper trailer finally mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, like, good to be able to the one, the yourselves. One, yeah, the one you've got, you know, has been pretty good, but uh, one that's specifically made for us has got to be, you know, another step up. So oh. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're pleased to be, be able to support yourselves and, oh, and do that. And yeah, having a, a quality trailer that is made for the for the boat is where you want to be. Cool, let's go and have a look at it. Yeah, yes. Uh, oh, is it up it's, here? It's up there, yeah. You see we've got plenty of trailers in the yard, mm -hmm. which has been a good... So you, so you do some up as well, is that we right? Do, yeah, we yep. do a lot of maintenance and repair work on trailers. Yep, so, so it's not just new ones? Not just new ones, yep. and that one there is actually a person that's bought a new one from us and oh, left okay. us the old one. Oh, fantastic. So here's your trailer here. Wow, that's really nice. That's a good. That's a really robust looking uh, bit of structure there, that's yeah. fantastic. Designed for the Innovision 515 cool. for it, so Simon at Innovision gave us the drawings for his boat. Yep. And we've designed it from there. So you have a good relationship with Innovision, like that you're normally their go-to guy? Yes, right? for, for, yep. the, for the steel trailers, yeah, we, yep. we're their go-to people and uh, we do have a great working relationship with, uh, with Simon at Innovision. Oh, fantastic. So what makes a good trailer? What makes a good trailer? Well, number one for us is the quality of the steel. New Zealand steel we use. Uh, if we can't get New Zealand steel, it will be Australian steel. But majority of it, 90% of it, is New Zealand steel. Yep. Um, so that's, that's number one. And what we do is source all the components from, from New Zealand, as many as, many as possible. So on, on the top here we've got a Christine Products uh, winch, Christine Products jockey wheel, yep. so they're made down in Christchurch. And then we go back through it, we have the J-Car rollers, they are oh, in yeah. Auckland. Yep. Um, so if it's not that, it will then be Trojan gear, is our running gear, we, right. we do on most of it. So. You know, that, that's great. And we come in with, lastly but not least, the LED lights, which are hella LED lights. Made here in New Zealand with a five year warranty on those lights. Yeah, I'm pretty so, familiar with that product. They are really good. Yeah. What, what coating have you got on the uh, frame here? So that's a, that's a galvanized coating. We get our, all our trailer mm. frames galvanized down in, in Hamilton by yep. Perry's. Cool. Um, so that's, that comes up really well. Yeah, that looks like a really, um, a really thick coating on it. It is indeed, well. yes, yeah. yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, um, what have you done to make it uh, special to our particular boat? Like, I know that Paul likes to go out on uh, and do a beach launch, and that can, uh, you know, has inherent risks, and you can actually go and mitigate those a little bit to a certain extent by changing the design. I know you've done some things here to go and help. What are they? Yes. So one of Paul's requirements was, uh, does a lot of beach launching up north. So we came up with this ingenious little idea here, Go give an extendable drawbar. We look down here, lovely on the left, right hand side there is another drawbar and it folds out and around to give you that extra length to put onto the car so the car does not have to go fully immersed into the water. So let's have a look at it and see how it works. We first undo the clip at the front and, and take the little bolt out there. So then we come down to the side of the trailer, which is it's a Trojan. Trojan coupling, standard coupling, lift that up, pull it out, bring it right round. You can see what, what extra distance we're getting here. Oh, fabulous. Come back, straight slot through, clip it in. And there you have it. So what you do is reverse your car back up. Slot all onto there, lock it into place, and you've got the extra two and a half meters to be able to move the boat back into the water further without getting the car wet. Fantastic idea. No, it works. The guys that we've done it for love it. I'm sure Paul's going to love this one as well.